Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the newest updated version of Stream Fire app to your Amazon Fire Stick device. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And without any further ado, the very first step you gotta take is of course getting the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. If you already have Downloader and it is properly set up, then you can actually skip this step, but if you don't have downloader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then just follow me. So we go to the home screen of your Fire Stick, open the search bar, and now we start typing downloader in here. So start typing downloader, and as you can see, it has already popped out for us at the bottom. You click on it, and now that is the app which you gotta get to the Fire Stick. But after you got downloader, it's not over yet because we still have to set it up. So now in order to actually stop the loader, we gotta go to settings by clicking this little button with a magnifying, sorry, not magnifying glass, but a gear icon, then go to My Fire TV, open it, and in here you need to turn on developer options for the Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just have to go to about, select fire to be stick, and now you gotta start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. You gotta open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and in here, all you have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So let's go back to the list of apps on the Fire Stick. Here it is, you'll open it, and there you will be able to locate Downloader, which is a top and ready to use on the Fire Stick. But before actually using Downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's, of course, connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to US right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is gonna be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of this video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for an award. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we go back to the list of apps on the Fire TV Stick. Here it is, open it up, and now finally start using Downloader. So we open the Downloader application, and here you'll see this big search bar which has appeared on your screen. So we need to open it, and now you'll see a big virtual keyboard. We'll be using this keyboard to enter a code, which will allow us to 
download the Streamfire app to the Fire Stick. So the code that we'll enter is going to be 3514876. So once again, 3514876, that is the code you have to enter. So make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code will not work for you. After that, you click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you will get even more content about fire sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot. And now the load of the app has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then the next step after the app is downloaded is we of course still have to make sure that it is installed to your device. So you gotta click that installation button right here. And now we have proceeded with installing the app. And after that, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So just click on delete and delete once again. This way you get rid of all the unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default, your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now when you go to the list of apps on your device, you will open it up, wait a moment, and here at the bottom you will find the Streamfire application. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on move to front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's gonna be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can get three months of NordVPN for free if you use the link below this video. Then feel free to open the app, and inside you will get the new updated Streamfire application, which works totally fine in 2025. So enjoy the app and see you next time. Bye bye.